So when we do a load and die test with a septic tank, what we're gonna do is drop these die tablets down a drain. We do this on the front end of the inspection. So I'm gonna put these and you can see that that turns the water that bright yellow. So I'm gonna go ahead and flush that. I'll flush this toilet numerous times. I'll probably flush it at least 10 times. And this is on the front end of this inspection. I'm just starting, but I'm, what I'm doing is I'm operating a lot of the plumbing fixtures. I've got a sink that's go, that has been running and it's gonna run for a long time. Plus I have to go upstairs and check all of the bathrooms. So I'm gonna operate a lot of water throughout the course of this inspection. At least 100 gallons will go down into the septic tank. Then I'll come out in a few minutes after I get done with all of that, I'll come out and this is where I think the septic tank is located. We can see the clean out pipe there. We think the tank is in this general area, which would mean our drain field should be in that direction. This is a very rudimentary test. So what I'm doing is I'm dropping that dye down into the system. I'm flushing a lot of water. I'm draining a lot of water. I'm putting a, a heavy load on the system. And then if there is any issue with uh, if there is a issue with the uh, drain field or with the tank, it may surface that dye. So I'll be able to walk around in the yard, look to see if any of that dye has came to the surface. Now this is not all inclusive. This is very base level. There could be issues that this test won't reveal. So the most thorough inspection of the septic tank that you could have would be to have a septic company to come out. They could dig up the tank lid, get into the system and look at that. But at least with this, if there is something major, then it might be able to show during the test, it's either gonna surface the dye or with loading the system, it could cause drainage issues uh, with the interior fixtures. And that would tell me that there's a problem. So like I said, this is very basic, very rudimentary, but it's at least something that's very easy to do. And we will perform this test with any, um, any inspection that we're doing, any home inspection that has a septic tank that we're made aware of. We'll go ahead and do this base level test.